Hi, we're going to do a quick demo of uh, Easy Content as well as Easy Content API. Uh, both are open source Drupal uh, projects that you can download and uh, try out yourself. So we'll do a quick demo of how you can use Drupal's layout builder with, uh, with a completely decoupled setup. So if you're familiar with Drupal's layout builder, uh, if you have the layout builder enabled on your content types, you get a drag and drop interface, which looks something like this. You are able to dynamically add sections to your page. You can pull in components in the form of blocks to your page, and you can drag and drop and put them into different regions. Uh, so you can see this homepage on the Easy Content demo site has been created using the layout builder. Uh, what we have on this demo site is that this demo site is uh, tied with uh, three different projects, Angular, Gatsby, and React, Next.js. So if I open this uh, Next.js version of this page, uh, you see the, the same page, uh, a similar page is available on uh, the React application as well. And the components and the, uh, the layout information, uh, all of that is being controlled by Drupal using Drupal's layout builder. So let's see how that works. Uh, we have a content type called landing page, which is a very simple content type. You put in some basic metadata and let's get straight into the layout builder piece. So now you can see I have my blank page here, uh, demo landing page five. Uh, as I've created this in Drupal, instantly, uh, instantaneously a same page has, similar page has been created in, in my React and Angular applications as well. So now I have a demo landing page five in uh, my React application. So it is completely empty right now, uh, just like the Drupal page. Uh, now, if I go to my layout builder on Drupal and add a section first, let's let's say, let's add a two column section uh, with 50, 50 widths. So I've done that. Uh, let's pull in a couple of blocks from our component library. Uh, let's quickly add an embed block here. So I am embedding a video here on the left region. Let me pull in a social media block on the right. I'll pull in a tweet. I need to grab a URL. Okay, I've created a media item and I've placed it on the right. So this is your typical Drupal workflow. You, are, you have created a page on Drupal using the layout builder, you place two components on it, one on the left, one on the right. Uh, now, if you're using a couple Drupal imp implementation, your page would look something like this. This is a Drupal theme that is rendering the Drupal front end that's rendering this page. Uh, but if you're using a completely decoupled implementation, uh, this page will not exist on Drupal. You will not have this Drupal theme and your front end will be on a JavaScript framework like React or Angular. In that case, uh, uh, as I showed earlier, this empty page that we just created, if I refresh this now, uh, it will also get these two columns on the left and right, and then the video is on the left and the image or the tweet is on the right. And this is completely integrated with the layout builder, so you can dynamically add more regions to the page using the layout builder. You can add more sections. Uh, you can use the drag and drop. For example, if I just, uh, I wanted the tweet on the left actually and the video on the right, I can do that. I can uh, create a new uh, section, which is 100% width and move these blocks over there. So any change that you make on the layout builder uh, gets reflected on the uh, decoupled front end as well. So now the tweet has gone to the left. If I refresh this, you can see the tweet on my React application is also uh, has gone to the left. So that's how the uh, Integration uh, is done in Easy Content API. We've extended Drupal Core's JSON API module to provide you two functionalities, right? One is to preview unpublished content and then the ability to use Drupal's layout builder. If you want to set up this and try out one of these front end applications, there is a next year starter kit as well, which gives you more information about the middleware we're using for caching as well as the front end code uh, that can uh, interpret and read uh, the Drupal's JSON API to help you integrate with the layout builder. Thank you.